Hi everybody, this is my first video, um, so please forgive me if I stutter or repeat myself. <laughs> um, my first speaking video. Uh, this is a project that I did for minialbumscraps.ning.com. Um, I'm a member of their design team and our first challenge was a, um, a Paris, like a storefront mini album. Uh, the paper that I used is the DCWV, uh, the Mademoiselle stack. Uh, it has a lot of really pretty uh, Parisian ladies on it and shoes and it just went really well with all the uh, accessories that we got for the chipboard mini. And I used, I made my um, legs for my um, from my window box, excuse me, from these musical notes that I had. I had kind of twisted them around to give them like a metally leg look. <laughs> and I used my Distress Ink, I inked everything with the brushed corduroy. And this is the pattern that I made for my flower window box. And I used this felt. It looks, it's called cobblestone. Can okay, you see that? Because um, I wanted it to look like a cobblestone. <laughs> so that's what I used. And this is what I came up with. Let's see. I can zoom in a little bit. Okay. Um, as you can see, I did a Paris storefront. Um, this is the little flower box I was talking about. I made my own base to hold it in because it's so cute. I didn't want to just put it away. I wanted to be able to display it. Oh, well, for as long as I have it, I'm giving it to my friend who is in Paris right now. Very jealous. <laughs> so I told her to take lots of pictures. Um, this is the base that I made. It's made out of chipboard and the felt. It goes all the way around. And then this is the mini. I did a sale window front. Um, let's see if I can zoom in some more. Sorry, I'm new with, with this camera. <laughs> um, I wish you could see the detail. I did a, like a stucco finish on it and metal um, embossing to look like iron painted distressed iron and then I put like this lip of extra paper to look like an awning. I added these to the rings, um, this tool just because it looked plain but I don't know if I'm going to leave it. I might take it off. Not sure. But anyway, I put a uh, tool behind the window to make it look like a you know, like a wind, like a window treatment. So that's the cover. And then the backs are, I left plain on each one because the, the lady I'm giving this to is actually very crafty herself. So I didn't want to do too much to it so she could have fun with it. But this is the first page that I did. This angle's not, you can see the, these ladies are so pretty. And then the shoes went perfect with the boots that I got in my kit to work on. And then we added some, I had some butterflies and flowers. And I always like to put a mat, some shape of a mat in the background for a photo. So that's the first page. And again, it's plain. This page. I used the flourish and the um, oh, 
what do you call this? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. Uh, corset. The corset from the collection. And plain on the back again. Well, kind of plain. <laughs> And then this one had a perfume bottle and we also got a perfume bottle in the chipboard set and of course this really cool mannequin or uh, dress form I love it so that's what I did with that and the back is very purple and then the last page I the bird and the Eiffel Tower came with the chipboard set as well and um, I think that's my favorite page and then the back of it, again, is plain. And then it just sits back in here, and she can display it, like at her office or something, and say how awesome her husband was for taking her to Paris. <laughs> Very nice. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, my blog is Crafty One, um, and my YouTube is Crafting with D. And you can find the chipboard mini um the set at uh, minialbumscraps.ning.com um, they have a store there that you can order it from so okay i hope i didn't do too bad <laughs> i'm sure i rambled on too much but um let me know how i did leave a, leave a comment please all right thank you bye